Hi everyone, welcome to the Increasing Motivation session. So your aims are, one, to understand the importance of motivation. To understand how different things affect motivation. And to learn different ways of increasing your own motivation. What is motivation and why is it important? Now it's important because motivation is a real driving factor in terms of us getting things done in reaching our goals. Motivated people tend to get to where they want to be on time. It's a way of organising your life and achieving the things you want to achieve. And we're going to help you to do that. So why is it hard to stay motivated? Pause the video here and write down some things that you think stop you from being motivated. Here are a few of the things that we're going to discuss today. Did you get any of them? Lack of self-discipline. Feeling tired. Being impatient. Being unable to visualise the end goal. Your mental health and physical health and the vicious cycle of procrastination and distraction. So now that we have identified the things that sort of take away from our motivation, we now need to talk about how we can combat all these problems. So let's start off with being impatient and being unable to visualize the end goal. Sometimes it's hard to keep motivation and you don't really know what you're trying to work towards. Sometimes you're sort of feeling like, what's the point of doing all this work? Why am I sat here for hours and hours doing it? And if you don't have that light at the end of the tunnel to work towards, you start feeling really, really low. And it's also really important to be patient with the process and respect that it won't just happen overnight. So some of the top tips to help you guys keep motivated and see this vision is writing down all the things that you want to aspire to, what you want to achieve on a piece of paper. And then what you're going to want to do is display them somewhere. Wake up in the morning and see that on the wall. Wake up in the morning and see it on your door to keep you in light of what you're chasing, what's your dream, what you're trying to overcome. And also what you want to do as well is sort of surround yourself with people or have access to people who have done what you want to do Look at them as your inspiration. Look at them as your role model and think, wow, that person has done it. I want to do it too. Okay, we're going to talk about mental health now. Now, our mental health is directly linked to our motivation and that is directly linked to our productivity. So we need to really look after our mental health to make sure that we stay motivated and productive. Now there's three good ways of doing that. One is just to do a self check on your mood, on your mental health. Now I've got on my phone uh, a free app where, where I can do a quick check in on my mental health every now and then and it keeps track of it. But there's lots of ways of doing it. Now another thing we can do is just not overwork our brains. If we are getting stressed and overworked, we need to take a little bit of time out and just bring the levels down and just relax a little bit before returning to the task. And finally, we need to just do some things that we enjoy. Break up the work with a little bit of enjoyable stuff, whether it's about food or exercise or TV or screen time, whatever it is. Just break up that time and give yourself the opportunity to learn at your best. If our physical health changes for the worst, or we're feeling really tired, this can have a massive impact on our motivation. These things can be caused by unhealthy eating, not getting enough sleep. Maybe you're physically sick, you've got a cold or the flu. In these cases, maybe take some time for yourself until you're better, you don't want to run on really low energy. To combat some of these and get some of your motivation back, you can try getting a good night's sleep. Don't stay in bed all day because that can make you feel more lethargic, but also make sure you're getting the right amount of hours sleep for you. You could also look at what you're putting into your body. Could you be eating healthier? Foods give us the energy we need to stay motivated. And also making sure you're drinking lots of water, staying hydrated. If you're not hydrated, you're going to feel run down and you're not going to have motivation. You could also try fitting in daily exercise. I know every day you wake up and you go, I'm going to exercise today. And then you're like, oh, I can't be bothered. If you can push yourself 
to just do a little bit of exercise. I promise you it will help you stay motivated for the rest of the day. So this next one, we're all guilty of it. And this is the cycle of procrastination and distraction. We've all been there. Really have to do something, but we just think, oh, let me just put it off for a little bit. And then the next thing we know, we get distracted by more things and the motivation goes even more down because we're like, we don't want to leave all this stuff that we're already doing to go and do this piece of work that we're doing, this project that we're doing. And then you get trapped in this cycle. So this is a very dangerous cycle to be in because once your motivation starts to dip and you've got more distractions and more things to procrastinate with, it just carries on going down in a downwards projectile. But let's talk about the top tips of how we can stop this cycle. So one big top tip is to not overwhelm yourself with the amount of work you need to do. You might see a big mountain of assignments, a big mountain of projects to do, but what you wanna do is take that into bite-sized chunks. And you're gonna to want to start off with what you find most interesting, your favorite thing. Start off the workload with a positive. And another big thing is to make sure you're not surrounded by distractions already. Don't have Netflix in the background, don't have your PlayStation on, and don't have Among Us on your phone as well. Make sure you're in a positive environment that's going to influence you to stay productive and stay motivated. Okay, we're now going to talk about the key to the whole thing. And the key is self-discipline. Now, a lack of self-discipline is what leads to lowered motivation. And you tend not to achieve your goals that way. And you feel very dissatisfied at the end of a day. So, self-discipline. Self-discipline is about kind of rigidly making sure that you stick to your kind of mini goals, you stick to your routine. And that's really important because you will feel better at the end of a day where you've maintained your self-discipline. So I'm gonna give you four top tips to help you through that. One, it's about planning and organizing. This may seem very tedious, but it does work. Keep those lists, keep those priority lists, those block timing lists, whatever format you're using, Keep those going, keep them up to date. Make sure you're on top of what needs to be done. Second, short and long-term planning. Your short-term goals, get those in place. If you start achieving some of your short-term goals very quickly, your long-term goals will fall into place. You will start to feel better about yourself because you're ticking things off the list. Now, third, it's about staying focused. You don't have to be focused all the time because sometimes we just need to chill out but it's about staying focused when you need to be focused. If you've got a task to do for the next 30 minutes, make sure that you focus on that task. And at the end of that task, this is number four, give yourself a little reward. My friend Matt, he has a magic star every time he's finished a sentence. Give yourself a little treat for keeping to your script and getting things done. And that way you will stay motivated, I guarantee it. Pick a goal that you want to achieve and that you need motivation to succeed in. This could be something to do with your educational goals, career goals or something else. Go through each of the factors that we've discussed that could affect your motivation and create an action plan tailored to your goal that will help you maintain your motivation in order to achieve it. The careers and goal setting session will also help with this. And make sure you take your time. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this session. I hope that you all feel a lot more motivated or at least feel like you have the tools to become more motivated. And don't forget to fill in the feedback form in the description below. And best of luck with those short and long-term goals.